Hi, Carmen. Ay, teacher, un minuto tengo. Only one minute. But what do you need? Hi, Say. hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, my lo God. siento, de verdad. Esto está en mi No, 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 no problem, no problem, but tengo is, todas yeah. las imágenes, pero hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't worry. Ya, ya sabe lo que le dije, ¿verdad? You know what I told you. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, bye bye. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo sería hoy o cuándo? No, if you want tomorrow. Porque, ah, vaya, vaya. porque a las diez. Finish. Voy a terminar a las a las once. I'm gonna finish at eleven. Ya es muy noche, verdad? It's too late. It's too late. Sorry. Está, está en, en silencio. Está eso, me abruma. Vaya, mire. A la, para mí no. Está bien a las 11. Ah, ok, cool. Porque en eso estoy subiendo los videos, ok. Good. Ah, va. Perfect. Bueno, ok, I'm gonna... Aquí mismo, aquí mismo, en, en la misma dirección. Ok, teacher, gracias. Ok, bye. Usted, usted cancela la... la... Ajá, usted, usted se sale para aceptar a, a, a Linda. Ok, thank you. Hi, Linda. How can I help you? Teacher, hola seco. Yes. I have an earache. Why, teacher? I, you know, I have always had problems with, with my ears. Maybe the earpods. Yeah, I think I, I think I need to, I need to buy the ones that are like this. It's my comfortable. Yeah. Okay. How can I help you, Linda? Did you, did you like the book? Yes, I like the book, and I cry the finish <laughs> yeah right it was it was uh, actually it is a it is a very a very sad uh book right but it is it is really nice because um i, I don't know this man was like suffering for a long time right and finally he was happy but he had to die yes he's well happy yes okay how can i help you uh, do you have any question with any topic that you didn't understand? This topic, when and if. Ah, when and if. Okay, very yes. good. Uh, you have a question with when and if. So I'm going to mm. help you. So your, your time was right now, right? Yes. Okay, because uh, I see Erika trying to get in. No, it's before me after after me ah all the right. hour yes let me see okay now um okay so, i confused before and after <laughs> okay linda always so you have a problem with that yeah, that happens sometimes. Yes. Okay, bye. Always confused before and after. Before and after. <laughs> bye. En inglés existen las cláusulas if, eh, I mean, la, 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 we have conditionals, así le llamamos, pero acá eh, nos vamos a enfocar en el uso de when and if. Estas dos palabras, these two words, unen oraciones they join okay. them, right so eh, el, el manual lo explica así que cuando usamos when es cuando hablamos de situaciones que son usuales para nosotros son like normal ok and <coughs> sorry I have and we're gonna use if cuando la situación no es usual Mm -hmm. It is unusual. Now, for example, here, aquí, tenemos una oración, porque como dice que une dos oraciones, or it joins two clauses. 
So the first one says, I ask for help. And the next one, I need it. Y es unida por, it is joined by when. Okay, it is joined by when. Entonces aquí dice, yo pido, yo pido ayuda cuando la necesito. Uh -huh. Es algo que siempre pasa, es usual. Cuando necesito ayuda, la pido, right? But the second, the second situation with if, esa no es usual. Yo pido ayuda si la necesito. If I need it. I mean, no es una situación usual. Ok? So that is, that is the difference between if and, and when. Now, en algunos casos, in some cases, voy a detener esto. I'm going to stop this. Let me see. I'm going to... I'm going to open a... Mm. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open a, a word page. Okay. So here, for example, it says, when I, when I, when I visit the beach, I am happy. That is something usual for me. Yes. Yes. That for when me. I and for you too. Yes. Yes. Very happy. Very happy. Yeah. When we when we go to the beach, we are happy. We feel happy. So it says, when I visit the beach, I'm happy. The, the beach, I'm happy. Now, acá tenemos when al principio de la oración, right? Yes. Pero podemos expresarlo de otra manera. Pero hay que cambiar el orden un poco. And we say, I am happy when I visit the beach. Y estamos diciendo lo mismo. We are saying the same. But in a different order. In the second case, no use the comma. Exactly. Perfect. We don't use the comma. Only one. Only in the first one. Mm -hmm. Only okay. in the first one. Only in the in the in the in the first case. When or if the in the beginning, use comma. Exactly. Porque la palabra when is at the beginning. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. if we're gonna use if, I scream, yo grito, if I see a snake. No es algo que usualmente pasa, right? Mm. Or you can say, if uh, I scream, if I see a snake. Or, if I see a snake, comma, I scream, okay? Okay. When es cuando son, cu se usa when, cuando son cosas que pasan regularmente y el if cuando son cosas como que casi nunca pasan o raras veces. Exactly. Ajá, uh -huh. lo podría, the, the usual and unusual situations. Yes. Yes. I, yes, I understand. I'm very confused because boots is similar. Exactly. And... Si se puede confundir un poco, but, but now you know the difference, right? When, usual situation. If, unusual situation. Mm -hmm. in, in this case, um, Always is a different person, the situation. Uh, how come? For me, maybe if, and the other person maybe when. Yeah, huh. exactly. Very good. Okay. That's, that's the difference, right? So just, just keep in your mind, right? Oh, we're, when we're going to use when in a, in a clause, it's because we are talking about usual situations for me and if it is if it's i'm talking about unusual situations for me for me 
Yeah. Okay. Good. Perfect. I, I understand. Excellent. And um, did you receive what I sent? What? Have you have you begun with with the other? Yes. Yes. I yes. I uh, you give me your opinion later because yes, it's yes, a nice yes. one too. Ese le va a gustar también. You will like it too. Okay. Okay. Linda? Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, Linda. Have a nice night. Bye bye. 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 Exactly. Very good. That's that's the difference, right? So just just keep in your mind, right? Oh, we're, when we're gonna use when in a in a clause, it's because we are talking about usual situations for me. And if it is if, it's I'm talking about unusual situations for me. Yeah. Sorry, I, she's she's getting online. Sorry, Erica, I didn't accept you, but I had Linda before. <laughs> okay, teacher, nice problem. Yeah, okay, tell me, how can I help you? In the in the simple past and past participle. Simple past and past participle. All right, very good. Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna work here. <gasps> What happened? Sorry, <laughs> I didn't, okay, here. It's recording, yes. Oh my God, all the class I have been like, it's recording, it's recording. Okay. Tiene pregunta con el pasado simple o el presente perfecto, como? Es que la verdad que me confundo con lo ah. de los verbos. Lo de los verbos. Okay. Vamos a trabajar un verbo. Eat, ate, eaten. Ok. Now, si yo digo, I eat pupusas every weekend, estoy hablando de presente simple. Vamos a cambiar el color. Simple present. Ok. If I say, I ate pupusas yesterday, yesterday, I am talking about, I'm talking about simple past, okay? But if I say I have eaten pupusas, y no digo cuándo porque en el present perfect no necesitamos decir cuándo, solo el número de veces, si estamos hablando de life experiences, this will be present perfect. El tiempo se llama present perfect. Y el verbo que usamos en este tiempo is past participle form, ¿ok? Porque muchos se confunden, teacher, fíjese que yo no sé usar el, el participio porque piensan que es un tiempo gramatical, pero en realidad es una forma de verbo, ¿ok? Es una forma de verbo. It is uh, una forma de verbo que la vamos a ocupar en presente perfecto. ¿It's clear? Yes. yes. Bye. Entonces, cuando nosotros usamos, when we use present, um, present simple, right? In this case, we use I eat pupusas every weekend. We are talking about activities we do regularly or activities we do every day or activities we do... Uh, how can I help you? Once a week, twice a week, once a day, twice a day, etc. Simple past. 
Cuando hablamos de cosas que we did, que hicimos, we did in the past. They finished in the past. And present perfect, lo podemos usar de dos maneras. Number one, cuando hablamos de life experiences, sin especificar cuándo se hicieron. And number two, acciones que comienzan en el pasado, actions that start in the past and continue in the present. Is it clear? Eso, bueno, no. <risa> o sea, ah, eso, que... eso le confunde. Ajá. Vale, entonces vamos a borrar estos dos y nos vamos a enfocar en el present perfect. Vale, por ejemplo, acá ya empezaron con la bulla los vecinos, pero no se escucha, ¿verdad? No. Can you imagine? Imagínense la hora en they are listening. Era callada, mm. tímida, inocente. <risa> It's terrible. Ok. Now, primer uso del present perfect. To talk about life experiences. For example, uy, 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 uy. For example, I have drunk. Cheech, ay, sorry. I have drunk chicha twice. I have he dormido con leones, for example. I have slept with lions. I mean, cuando usamos eh, present perfect para hablar de life experiences, usamos eh, expresiones como una vez, dos veces, muchas veces, pero nunca vamos a decir Today, porque today is the present. No vamos a decir yesterday porque es the past. ¿Ok? Y la segunda es cuando hablamos de cosas que comenzaron en el pasado, en un punto en el pasado, y que en el presente las seguimos haciendo. For example, I'm, I'm going to invent. I have lived in Lourdes for 10 years. Vaya, quiero ver si son 10 años, 10 years, sería en el 2010, llegué a Lourdes. Y desde ese entonces para acá, yo vivo allí. Entonces uso present perfect. Yo he vivido, I, ha, I have lived in Lourdes for 10 years. Now, imagine, eh, imagine... Um, el mes pasado me cambié a Santa Ana. Entonces ya no puedo decir I have lived in Lourdes for 10 years, sino que lo paso a pasado. I lived in Lourdes for 10 years. ¿Se mira la diferencia? Ajá. O sea que ese se usa cuando ha pasado no ayer, ni antier, ni una semana, sino que mucho tiempo atrás. El, ¿Cuál de estos? El past participle. Ah, el, el, no, eh, no, el past participle, acuérdese, vaya. Past participle es el verbo. Ajá. Y el, y el verbo, que es el past participle verb, se usa dentro de una estructura que se llama present perfect. Present perfect. ¿Ok? Very good. El pasado, pasado simple, es otra cosa. Esa es Ajá. otra cosa. Uh -huh. So, okay. eh, let, me, let me check. Va, entonces. Vamos a poner otro ejemplo. Acuérdese, el verbo es past participle. Este no es ningún tiempo gramatical, sino que solo es el nombre el que verbo. se le da al verbo. Uh -huh. Past participle verb le vamos a poner. Past participle verb. Y lo vamos a poner así, mire. Si quiere, póndelo así. Y se usa. Y el verbo participio se usa dentro de la estructura. Es estructura. Ay, ya se nos acaba el tiempo. Gramatical. Sí. Llamado present perfect. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Very good. Uh -huh. 
Okay. okay. If, remember, if you have an extra question, you know, right, that you can you can ask for help to me if 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 you want. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thanks. And I'm gonna stop the the share. Thank you very much, El Erika. Eh, la quiero felicitar así personalmente porque es responsable de las que más me participa en la plataforma. Siempre está en la clase atenta. Part you participa. I mean, you are a very good student. Okay? Thanks, teacher. Okay, Erika. Good bye night. Bye. See you. Yeah, good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.